Okay, so the next case we're going to talk about is a patient with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. I think this is really the biggest challenge we all deal with um, in our treatment of patients with breast cancer because it's so difficult to treat. And um, if we don't see good responses, our options are so limited. But, you know, we'll talk about some of the areas uh, based on this case where we're making improvements and uh, where we're going from here and interest in everybody's own approaches. So this patient is a postmenopausal 53-year-old woman who had breast cancer two and a half years ago. Uh, she's a very active woman, has two teenagers, uh, and uh, when she presented, had a 2.8 centimeter tumor in the left breast and left axillary node involvement. Uh, she had an ultrasound-guided core biopsy that showed a grade three invasive ductal cancer that was triple negative and a fine needle aspiration of the axillary lymph node that showed invasive disease. She had testing per guidelines for BRCA1 and 2, and of course, with these larger panels, multiple other genes, and that was all negative. So she underwent mastectomy followed by immediate reconstruction um, at another institution and had two out of 20 nodes positive as well as a T2 primary lesion. I will say that at our, our institution, we would have treated her with neoadjuvant therapy. She was treated in another setting. And I think part of uh, what we're discussing today also is you know, the importance of neoadjuvant therapy in HER2 positive and triple negative disease in terms of trying to impact outcome. So after surgery, she did the standard ACT uh, with a weekly paclitaxel and dose dense AC. She had a lot of toxicity with diarrhea and uh, nausea and vomiting, uh, but she got through her chemotherapy uh, and had uh, post uh, mastectomy radiation because of the size of her tumor and her positive nodes. 18 months after finishing her treatment, so a year and a half, she presented with a worsening cough and abdominal pain and on a CT scan had three lesions in her left lung and several liver lesions. A biopsy confirmed metastatic triple negative breast cancer with absolutely no staining for ERPR or HER2. And uh, she had uh, pd one testing ordered on the biopsy tumor tissue, which showed uh, based on the Ventana SP142 assay that her uh, immune cells were positive in the tumor bed for a pd one 